Hi again, everyone. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. Welcome into Cincinnati Bengals talk here at the Paul Brown Stadium practice fields where the Bengals wrapping up another training camp practice on Thursday afternoon. And well, the defense had the upper hand all day long. The Bengals going through a bunch of team drills, team stuff throughout the day. And well, the defensive line, Joseph Osai, guys like that, certainly made an impact. Trey Hendrickson seemed really unblockable, even going up against guys like Jonah Williams. Uh, had a really good day. Joseph Osai had a really good day against the likes of guys like I Isaiah Prince and others. Um, this Bengals defensive line won the day. The Bengals defense won the day. On the flip side, it is a bit concerning because, well, offensive line is a hot-button issue. Now, with that said, Alex Kappa still... Uh, was playing in team drills, but not every first team rep uh, as he continues to make his way back from core muscle surgery. Uh, Lyle Collins still not out there. He was working on the rehab field. Looks good for what it's worth. So I think they're just playing it safe with him. But overall, this offensive line has been an issue for years, and it was an issue today. So we'll see how they bounce back. It is just one practice. You don't want to overreact, especially because today was the first time they had officials on the field, and I counted at least seven false starts, which is something to uh, certainly be concerned about as well. But I might have buried the lead a little bit because Joe Burrow, back at practice today, uh, looked better. I know there were some who were wondering about the – uh, IV line that was in his arm the other day. No IV line today. He was standing. He joked with some of his teammates. No, he didn't throw a pass or anything like that, but uh, certainly appears to be heading in the right direction, which is what you want to see. Uh, ultimately, though, we don't have a timeline yet. Zach Taylor set to talk again Friday. We'll see if he updates anything. He's been pretty coy about what he's given us about Joe Burrow, um, but th this team certainly would love to have number nine back out there. I want to talk a little bit more about the offense versus the defense. But first, I have to remind you that every training camp report brought to you by Rivertown Inquiry and RivertownInquiry.com. If you're looking for orange and black gear, if you're looking for Cincinnati gear, get to Rivertown Inquiry today. Doug and his team do an awesome job, and they just released the White Tiger hoodie. So go there now to get it, RivertownInquiry.com. Uh, first things first, Evan McPherson continues to be money. It doesn't matter who's holding, who's snapping. He just continues uh, to play at a really, really high level. Hit one from 54 yards today with plenty of distance left on it. His 49-yard kick looked like it would have been good from 60. So Evan McPherson continues uh, to gel despite, you know, Cal Adamitis, Cal Adamitis Drew Chrisman uh, working in in that, that snapper holder role there. And that battle continues. And I think that's something that's going to be decided in the preseason games, not necessarily training camp practices. Uh, but today in practice, a couple guys did shine. Uh, Kwame Lasseter had a couple really nice catches. And some of the time, it was because plays were blown dead where the offensive line might have given up a sack or Brandon Allen might have been sacked. But the fact that Lasseter, working with the first team at times, made some catches, working with the second team, made some catches, certainly someone to pay attention to. And the other one's Hayden Hurst, continues to make plays. A couple plays a day, it seems like Hayden Hurst is uh, making a play, doing this, doing that. Uh, I tweeted out one. It was a nice sideline grab. Dax Hill was on his back, and Hurst uh, still able to make that play. I also thought Bad Moss had a good practice today. He missed on Tuesday, and I didn't think it was anything serious. By the way, we wrote about Thad Moss uh, at allbengals.com, and we talked to him one-on-one -on -one last week right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. And so the timing couldn't be much better because he had a really good day, broke a couple tackles. Um, in team sessions and uh, had a couple of first down catches. So overall, I thought the offensive line from a pass blocking standpoint, they really struggled. Um, but the good news is, is in the short yardage, there was a lot of third and one, fourth and one work midway through practice. The offense kind of had their way and, and were pretty successful at getting that push needed. There was a couple times where it didn't work, but overall got the push needed uh, to get that yard and continue to the next set of downs, which was obviously a huge, huge issue. As we have Paul Daner Jr. here from The Athletic. I'm He's just, got a feature coming out here. soon. Yeah, on uh, who? Uh, Kwame Lasseter, Thad Ooh. Moss. It's got to be someone like that you have coming out. No, Chris Evans probably. Chris Evans, you got yeah. that one? Yeah, maybe. I don't See, know. The thing is, is CBT is pretty bullish on Chris Evans. So okay. we're going to have to check. Oh, yeah, yeah. This you, channel, we're bullish on Chris Evans. you'll really Evans. like reading The Athletic. Look, look at that. Look uh, at that. You'll really like reading The Athletic for the inside scoop on Chris Evans. Look at Paul. Look Just at stealing the He's spotlight. Stealing the spotlight. Sorry, I'll leave you alone. Man, oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of Chris Evans, 
no, he ran really hard today. Uh, good stuff there from Paul from uh, jumping in. He's been giving me grief all camp because, well, CBT, the followers come out and they say hi, and I love it. So hopefully I'll see some of you at training camp over the next few days. We'll be back at it on Friday. Highlights coming Thursday night. Hopefully that's our plan. And there was a lot of team drills, a lot of stuff uh, to be on the lookout for. So for Andrew Fox Miller, our channel coordinator, by the way, make sure you check out our DJ Reader locker room interview if you missed that. I'm James Rapine signing off for now at the practice fields across from Paul Brown Stadium on Cincinnati Bengals Talk.